Hey, hey, family, it's your girl Evelyn here, and I am back with another video. And today I figured we'd do a little get ready with me. So I'm actually getting ready to film some additional videos. And so I thought, since I'm already sitting here, the camera's already set up, I'm about to put my makeup on. Let's have a little chatty get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a while. And so, yeah, y'all, I've been MIA for a little bit. And I thought, you know, come on, give you a little life update, business update, things like that. So if I don't call out something that I'm using specifically, I'm going to have everything that I use in the description box below. So anyway, I'm starting with my um, Gucci primer, which y'all can see I have put a dent in this. So definitely um, replacing this during the Sephora sale. So yeah, it is currently... 40 degrees, 45 degrees, I think here in Dallas. And like, it was just, I was just wearing sandals, uh, last week and that is Texas for you. And I was at home today and I was like trying to figure out how not to turn my heat on. Oops. Um, I was trying to figure out how not to turn my heat on and I was like, for what? I want to be comfortable. So Danessa Myrick's Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Universal. I use this as a primer. Not that I need this. Um, I'm not going outside, but since I am under light and I am oily and it's also raining, this is perfect for controlling oil, shine, soaking it up, even though I'm going to be washing this off. As soon as I'm done with these videos, listen, for my fellow content creators out there, do y'all do that? Do y'all like, you know what, let me just put on a face uh, to film and then I'm going to take it off later. That's what I'm doing. So uh, let's see here. What do I want to do for foundation today? Let's see. Let's do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to go in with my um, Tom Ford Traces Soft Matte Foundation. This foundation is a little red for me. So, um, you know, like it's a little red. <laughs> and so I like to, I mean, by the time I put on concealer and powder and all of that, it'll be better. But it's, I like the formula. I just don't like this color. So this is my BK Beauty 106 brush. Here's the thing about BK Beauty brushes. I like them, but I've had so many of them split on me that I'm just kind of like, is it just my batch? Is it the way I'm washing them? Like, what is happening? And I haven't even allowed myself to venture into the world of natural hair brushes because I feel like once I cross over, I may never come back. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, you, you got other things to do right now than to be tiptoeing into the world of natural hair brushes okay because i'm so intrigued but not right now so i'm going to be using a combination of concealers this is the nars soft matte complete concealer in dark two cacao i actually like the formula of this a lot um and it's very neutral and i like that and then I think it's, but I, it, as you can see, this is not a super brightening shade on me, but I like the texture. So anyway, while I'm doing this, cause I'm going to probably be layering another concealer on top of this just to get some brightness and, you know, kind of those dips that are under my eyes. Cause I'm a little tired y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. Uh, I haven't been getting the best sleep lately, but you know, that's, that's for me and my journal and my therapist. But, um, Y'all, so uh, life update. So I'm still dancing ballet. And I don't know if I've been on here to talk about the fact that I've started boxing. <laughs> I know you're like, Evelyn, how did you go from ballet to boxing? Well, it was the recommendation of my therapist. She actually recommended that I either go to a, we talked about a rage room, which is a place. I don't know if y'all have heard of this. I've never been. I've only, like one person that I follow on social media who lives there in Dallas has been to one. It's very intriguing to me, but basically a rage room is where you can go and you put on protective gear like helmet, goggles, mask, body suit, whatever. 
and you get to pick your uh, destructive weapon of choice, bat, crowbar, or whatever. And they, you can go into a room and you can just tear some stuff up. Um, and I think you can do it in like 30 or 45 minute increments or whatever. When I tell y'all I'm so intrigued, <laughs> girl, I am intrigued, okay? But I was like, that's one off. And the only one that I found um, in in the Dallas Metroplex is really far from me. It's like an hour and some change away from me. So I was like, okay, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know why that got dark. Um, the only one that I found in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex is like an hour and some change away from me. And so I was just kind of like... Mm. Oh, that was my Pat McGrath um, concealer in shade D31. That's like my lightning shade. So I started boxing and I specifically wanted a black male boxing trainer. Uh, and I found one who is not too far from where I live because I drive a pretty good distance to dance. Like I drive like 30 minutes each way with like no traffic. And so, you know since I knew I was going to be adding this a couple of days a week, I definitely wanted um, a place that was really close. And it is, it takes me like eight minutes to get there. And I don't even have to get on the highway, which if you live in Dallas, you understand how close that is. <laughs> like to not have to get on the highway is a blessing. Um, this is my Kosas Klaus set in a mini in the shade um, Silky. I'm using it as an under eye setting powder i like this um formula and um this brand so or and this color so i mean i could use the laura mercier which i enjoy and i really want to try her new one but this is so doggone big like it's gonna be forever before i finish it and i just don't it just doesn't make sense to me for something like a setting power powder to buy another giant one when i'm not even finished with this one but i digress so anyway um, so I, I picked up boxing and um, I'm really I'm really enjoying it surprisingly more than I thought I would. Um, this is my Make Beauty. What is this? This is translucent pressed powder in deep from Make Beauty. Um, so I'm just going to use this to set my whole face. But um, so I started working with him one on one. So I don't like take boxing classes or kickboxing or anything like that. Which I thought about like there's definitely chain places that you can go I think there's a, a chain here called kick house or something like that and so I could have done that I didn't want to do that and I started with him in May and it is now October or the end of October and so um that looks good and so I have been enjoying it so I work out with him twice a week I want to use my Pat McGrath bronzer. Y'all, I know in previous videos, I kind of talked bad about this bronzer and I just needed a different brush. So there's that. Um, <laughs> my bad. Okay, but I do have to build it up. Anyway, um, so started with him. I go twice a week. And when I tell you, yes, I'm getting physically stronger. Yes, my endurance is building up. Yes, I'm learning some boxing technique. That's all fine and wonderful. But when I tell you the intrinsic value that I'm getting from boxing um, and having a personal trainer, like strengthening my don't give up just because this is uncomfortable muscle, um, strengthening my you probably can go further than you think, but you just want to stay in your comfort zone muscle. Oh, I'm talking to me. Um and so many other things. And I remember early on in one of my sessions, like leaving the session and like being in tears, like, and I was like, what is happening? And I researched it and it was like extremely um, challenging physical activity is actually a form of therapy <laughs> and it can like bring up old emotions. And so y'all, I'm already in therapy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I don't talk about it because... Everything is not for public consumption, but that's just a part of my life. I've been doing therapy for years. I don't talk about it because that's not content. It's just part of my life. I've been doing it for years. I love it or whatever. But I was like, oh, girl, because I'm doing I do EMDR. Listen, if you don't know what it is, look it up. I'm not going to talk about it. But girl, so um, it's been great. So I'm going to be using Kosa's, um the Sun Show Bronzer in Tropic. 
almost like a highlighter slash bronzer, which I know that's like an oxymoron, but get into this color. Do you see that? And it's, 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 um, glowy. So I just kind of put that there. Anyway, it, it just looks great. I like it. Y'all know I like a brown highlighter situation. Anyway, what I was saying is that it's just such an enjoyable um, time for me. The people there are really friendly. And I know I've done videos on my channel before about like, you know, my femininity journey and all that kind of stuff, whatever. And I will have to tell you that that journey has been amazing, still on that journey. But one of the things that I've really um, gotten into along that journey is healing my masculine energy and you know a lot of times when people try to say that you know certain groups of women are super masculine or this that and the third you know here's the thing that may be true in a lot of cases what I realized is it wasn't that I was overly masculine is that I had the masculine energy that I had and that I we all need was unhealthy masculine right and so just like my femininity was suppressed for a while um, and there's lots of people out there teaching toxic femininity, which I'm not even going to get into that. Um, I realized that um, something that is not discussed in the conversation with women when they're on their femininity journey is also returning to a healthy masculine um, because you need both. And if you want, you know, this newly returned or going going back to or healed feminine energy to thrive if you want it to be sustained if you want to be able to really relax in it you have to f heal um the unhealthy masculine and so you know boxing was part of that and just I would just say even working with a male trainer is very different than um working out with a woman and not that one is better or worse or more effective or less effective it's just that um different oh this is a milani i easy brow automatic brow pencil i've been using these for years i don't even i just i haven't even tried to look for a new brow pencil like i just like it it works etc so i will say even like um one of my dance teachers is you know a male instructor and even just the energy the the feel the flow of his class is different from my female da dance instructor. Um, it's because, you know, you know, men operate how men operate and women operate how they operate. And so I enjoy having the back and forth of the two. You know, I love, you know, my boxing trainer, um, the way he challenges me. He's not with the BS uh, when I be in there whining and complaining. Same thing with my dance teacher, you know, both male and female. So yeah, healing my masculine and obviously not just through, you know, movement, but healing my masculine um, has been super supportive of my um, femininity journey. And so again, I always say I am not a femininity teacher. I'm not a femininity coach. There are people that I've learned from at this point. I'm pretty much a self-study student because I feel like not that there's not always more to learn, but I feel like for where I want to be, my femininity is in a great place. And um, it's just now about having the masculine support that. So that's kind of the update on um, ballet, um, dance. So I'm taking ballet, intro, intro to intermediate ballet, which is insane to me to even say that I'm in a semi intermediate ballet class in my 40s that is crazy to me um I enjoy it I have officially been dancing for two years now which is also insane to me um and then um I also am dancing modern or if some of you have dance backgrounds also known as Horton so not Graham but Horton and uh love that i was doing jazz for a while but you know at one point i was taking like four dance classes a week and i was just like okay if i'm gonna be boxing and dancing like i don't know if i can do four days a week so i dance two days a week and i box two days a week that's kind of like the schedule right now 
Um, let's see what else. So y'all, I recently took a vacation. Um, I had not taken a vacation in a very long time. We're not even going to get into the why behind that, but, um, I hadn't and I did absolutely nothing and it was marvelous. <laughs> I just slept. I slept. I ate. I watched cheesy Hallmark movies. Um, there was no itinerary. There was no agenda. There was no ripping and running. There were no excursions. There, there, there was none of that. And I couldn't have enjoyed it more. And for the first time in, I don't know, probably 15 years, maybe longer, I read a fiction book. Not a self-help book, not a personal growth and development book, not a book on business, not a book on habits and what like I read a black romance novel and it was fantastic. It was so good. I read it in one day. Um, it was a page turner, at least to me. And um I was like Am I a book girly now? Because I enjoyed it so much. Like I was so into it that I was like, what is happening here? So I I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, let's see here for eyeshadow. I, you know, I'm realizing I'm not a big quad girl, but this quad from Pat McGrath is so gorgeous. And I'm probably going to supplement it with another palette from Pat McGrath. Um, but anyway, so went on a vacation and y'all, when I tell you it was fantastic to just not think about, you know, working on myself, to not think about business, to not think about day-to-day -day responsibilities, like to completely cut my brain off, uh, in that way for seven whole days, like, okay, seven whole days, like that's what immediately comes to mind, um, I needed it and um, I will be doing it again <laughs> sometime in the not so distant future and it will be going on the schedule like that type of vacation will be going uh, on my calendar at least a couple of times a year. So if you see me looking over to the side over here is because that's where my mirror is. Um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just using this color right here in the crease. And um, I might even take it all over the lid, to be honest. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, so while I was there, though, I was thinking about like all of these um, things that bring me joy and how I need to do more of them. And like this YouTube channel brings me joy. And, you know, is my channel growing? No, it's not because one, I'm not consistent and I haven't really put that kind of effort into it. And I will say it's not even about that for me. I enjoy a handful of content creators. I enjoy, um, I need a different brush for this lid. I enjoy watching YouTube videos and I enjoy making YouTube videos. What I don't enjoy is the editing. <laughs> That's the part I don't enjoy. But um, I've got some fix plus here because I'm going to, I'm going to, use uh, one of these colors and I definitely want to spray it because I will say with some of Pat McGrath's more shimmery um colors like the specs irritate my eye if they get in there so I have to spray even if I don't want them to be as pronounced like it's just mandatory so I'm using this color down here at the bottom uh kind of shimmery taupey brown oh yeah that was probably too much spray but here we are um anyway so I was like, I need to make time in my life to do this. That is bright. Definitely need to make time in my life to do this. Flipping my brush over so I don't put the wet side in there. Spraying it. Yeah, I've gotten this. is So this is Flix Plus Coconut. And then I've got Fix Plus Matte. I was not a Fix Plus girly when these were out, but I found them at Home Goods, And I was like, ooh. Ain't nothing like a little discount to get me to try. And I have been really uh, enjoying them, surprisingly. So, uh, oh, yeah, that's 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 intense. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that brings me back to, okay, so, yeah, things that bring me joy. So, you know, this YouTube channel, I used to do a series on this channel called Find Your Flavor. 
and um years ago and I miss it I I really 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 miss it and so I have decided I've talked about this before this is the other thing is like delaying um pleasure I'm going to be using this brown color right here to kind of deepen out the corner and this little brush right here um and I just don't want to do that. So like, you know, I've decided to for my Chef Evelyn Instagram to take it back over. I've moved off my all of my business stuff to a, you know, a separate Instagram account. I want my Chef Evelyn uh, Instagram account to be mine. Um, I want to bring Find Your Flavor back as a podcast, which I've been talking about for years and just haven't pulled the trigger um, for a myriad of unnecessary reasons, right? And so, um, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. You know, I'm, I'm about to, you know, I already have the name of the podcast. I already kind of know the community that I want to build around the podcast. I know, um, events and stuff that I want to do around the topic of the podcast, you know, all, so all of the branding stuff, because I, you know, that's what I teach chefs, like all the branding stuff I already know. And I already kind of know what I want to talk about in the trailer, right? So I really want to talk about, you know, the th the things that get ignored when you are a woman entrepreneur, specifically a black woman entrepreneur, and you've been building your business, that there's a lot of things that end up going on the back burner. Um, and, I, and, and how I've been able to, you know, um, really strategically bring some of those things to the forefront. So I'm using just a black eyeshadow as my liner I, I you know y'all I haven't really been using like liquid liner nearly as much um I just really been enjoying just smudging some black eyeshadow on my lash line that has been such an enjoyable experience for me anyway um so yeah I mean I'm excited to bring it back you know there I feel like there's a lot of podcasts out there to tell you how to grow your business or to tell you about, you know, therapy or, you know, things you should do to improve yourself as if we're some kind of um, ongoing DIY project, right? And I'm not saying, you know, don't improve yourself. Like, you know, there's always new things to learn, but it's like, what about enjoying life? What about play? What about pleasure? What about you know, relaxation and rest. And what about relationships? You know, and I'm not talking about like dating advice. I'm talking about like the relationship you have with yourself, with your family, with your friends. Yes, maybe with a significant other, but not even in like some, oh, I'm trying to give dating advice because that's so, again, that's not me. Uh -huh. um, but just the, at the end of the day, those are the things that we're going to remember. Not how much revenue we brought in in our business, I mean, that's cool and all, and that's important. And I feel like there's enough people talking about that. And, um, you know, I want a more lighthearted space for what I want to talk about. I want it to be fun and joyful and just like a little pick me up that drops every week. So um, that's the eye look. It's n nothing crazy. Let's see here. What do I want to do for blush? I think I want to do I have not used this blush a whole lot this is um my uh, a make beauty blush in the shade new moon so it's like this like muted pink color I think that'll be pretty for what I'm doing right now nothing too crazy for these videos yeah yeah that works and um yeah y'all so that's that I you know I have I have so many ideas and I have just you know realized that perfectionism is a form of procrastination that comes from all different types of stuff and I just no longer am willing to let these ideas sit for years and years and years and years and years waiting to the right time or waiting to oh once I get this other area of my life together then I'll work on this like that's just that's just um, a mindset trick that to keep you away from enjoying your life, you know, so and I, I realized that there's been a lot of things that I've done like that, that I don't want to do anymore. Y'all, this is a long video. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm talking a lot. Oh, that's pretty. Um, oh, I could have used my Gucci blush. That's fine. I haven't used this one in a while. I think I told y'all that these 
house lab bronzers were like, I mean, not bronzers, highlights were like it for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is the shade. I don't think I've hauled this on camera yet. This is the shade Bronzite. So this is like the cooler tone brown. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to brush. And then I just like to brush a little on. Not a ton, right? I'm not trying to look. Mm, but that, see, it's just a little bit of light. This is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara in black. Um, I normally like to use a primer, but I'm out of my primer. So I need to order one. The primer that I had been using, I had a sample of a Chanel primer and I, I really liked it. And I'm not exactly happy about the fact that I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I will say I've tried the Lancome primer and I've tried the Estee Lauder Little Black Dress Primer. And my favorite out of the three has been the Lancome. Um, it just... It doesn't matter what mascara I use. It takes it to a whole nother level. So don't let it be a great mascara. And then I use that primer with it. Bomb. Because I'm not a lash girly. So I'm a primer girly. As far as like I'm not a false lash person. So I figure since I'm not a false lash person. I need quality mascara. And I need a good primer. And I'm out of the primer right now. So anyway I'm going to get it at Ulta. Because I got some points over there. And I can pretty much get it for like half off. So I'm excited about that. Um, this this will do. So yeah, you see, I like that. I like that um, eyeshadow like smudgy liner. Like it still gives me the definition and the darkness without like the super harsh liner, which I still like from time to time. So... The lippy I'm going to be wearing today, I recently picked this up. This is a from Estee Lauder. This is a Pure Color Illuminating Shine Sheer Shine Lipstick. That's a long name. In the shade Astonishing. Why we be sleeping on Estee Lauder? Look at this packaging. Look at this. This is Lux. Okay. I know we think it's the old lady brand, but I, they got a lot of products that I enjoy. This is the color. Pretty. I'll show it to you. Mm, that's pretty y'all know I love a sheer color moment sheer slightly shiny magnetic closure super skinny pretty brought the whole look together I love it okay so here is the final look I, as you can see, the Tom Ford worked out. Um, love the Pat McGrath eyeshadow. I do have fallout even after spraying it. But you know, if you don't want fallout with Pat McGrath, you got to do you got to do your eyes first. But anyway, y'all. So listen, <laughs> I I talked about so much stuff. I know it was a random chatty get ready with me video. I will have all the products that I use linked below, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.